Hi guys, so we just left our jolly journey in the Peak District. We've been driving for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes possibly, I don't know, but the van just started making this really funny noise like a, a racing car. Screeching. It was like a high screeching like a racing car, skidding around a corner, that kind of noise. And of course we were getting a bit worried, so we stopped somewhere and um, Oh, it's taken an hour to figure it all out and get breakdown recovery and all the rest of it, but you found it, didn't you? You found what the problem was. I did, There's yeah. There's some nuts There's missing. a nut that's shaken loose on the EGR valve, so the noise is the gases escaping out of it. Um, and uh, It was a bit smoky as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's blowing smoke out from it, which is just like exhaust gas, but... It's blowing smoke out under the bonnet. It's blowing it back into the cab through the heater. Um, so I didn't really want to fall asleep at the wheel with uh, yeah, carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, so yeah, we're waiting for breakdown, but our jolly journey are only 10 minutes away and Jay's gonna come. Um, See if he's got anything. He's coming with a can... bag of nuts apparently. Yeah, so fingers crossed. I mean, it's not, really the van that we're actually worried about right now it's the day of purdy's mri scan that is booked in at 2 30. it's now 11 a.m and we need to get him to this appointment we've waited months for this appointment and if we can't get to this appointment we're going to be make, waiting months again and he's struggling it. really struggling with the driving of with his arm so you know that I hope we can get there in time, I really do. That's it there. And you can see quite a big gap between those two. That's the problem and hopefully Jay's got some magic things in his trunk. Magic nuts. <laughs> magic nuts in his trunk. <laughs> Then? Did it make it was making noise? like this screaming noise. There was smoke starting to come out of there. <sighs> Quite good fun, isn't it? Oh god, it wasn't when he was going crazy. Can't blame him though. That appointment's been booked for weeks, hasn't it? It's the only thing that's kept us up here. Yeah. Give it a try. Yeah, start her up. It'll be fine. We said we were going to arrive at 11.11, so we're thinking we're yeah. going to <coughs> You get to say bye to them again, Kaylin. Right. Aren't you lucky? We'll go for a show of that. <laughs> no, you're going to say bye. Oh, are you saying bye to the camera? We're going to say bye to Jay and Holly again. Bye. <laughs> oh, you got a wet cheek. Have oh. another wet cheek on the other side. I don't know what the wet is because she hasn't been outside. <laughs> oh, for you! I thought you meant that she'd got some wetness on you. Guys, thank Bye you again very and much. thank you for saving us. You're welcome. It's all right. Hopefully, you get no more nuts shaken off. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh my god, last night was so scary. Um, we stayed in our friend's car park and um, oh, it must have been about one, one o'clock, half one. Ten past one. Ten past one. Ten past one. I'm fast asleep um, and all, oh, all that I hear is him shout, shouting something like, Hey, what the f are you doing? And the door, the back door is open, literally open. And I, I, I didn't really know what was going on, to be honest. I just woke up to him shouting his mouth off and then some chavvy voice at the back of the door. Oh, oh, oh sorry, mate. I've, I've lost my push bike. Somebody's nicked my push bike and, and I'm just checking in the back of the vans. I was like, yeah, right. Of course, we've Full all stark bollock naked know, in bed. Yeah. And we, uh, it, it wasn't like I could was just say, burgle our van. Wait, wait there while I come out and give you a good flogging. Yeah. And so I just told him to shut the door and he quickly pissed off like, but I don't know who got the biggest shock um 
But yeah. That that was really scary though, and it's really put us off staying in urban park ups really because well you never know when something like that's gonna happen, do you? Well it's scary. The thing is, after that guy bumped into us in Cornwall, yeah, which he hasn't been in touch with any bloody money or anything, idiot. But after he bumped into us, it destroyed the central locket, so the, the back doors don't actually lock anymore. So I have a clasp that I put across, which is basically two carabiners, and with getting the dogs in and out, I'd forgot to lock the clasp. And yeah, middle of the night, <laughs> door opens and uh, there's a little chav with a grey hoodie and a blue mm. beanie hat. So, yeah. It's bloody scary, like. But, I mean, all the other doors lock fine, and that's, normally, it's got its clasp on it, but because he's been getting the dogs in and out through that door. Another thing, though, that's quite concerning, the dogs didn't make a sound. They did not bark, they didn't grunt, they didn't move, they didn't do anything. Somebody tried to break it, well, somebody <laughs> broke into our van, and the dogs did nothing. So... <laughs> We need a bigger dog <laughs> <laughs> with savage um, teeth. I'm, I'm just glad that, you know, he woke up and heard it and we're safe. We're still a bit nervous, so we've actually escaped town now and we've pulled up in this beautiful spot. Back to the green stuff. It's very pretty. So this is Square Corner just at the top of Thimbleby. Yeah, the view that way looks very nice. And That's... there's a little footpath as well. Look at all them birds. So, after I've got my work done, I think we might uh, go out and have a little wander. What do you think, love? <coughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, In fact, no time like dinner, the dinner time first, though, I think. Well, we're all hungry. Got what daylight well, get some of that fruit bread toast stuff on. <laughs> there we go. Fruit bread toast. <laughs> yeah, that'll do till later. A couple hours from Japan. Would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am when you're far away. I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while But I want you close
got it. Good girl. Oh, that was a nice walk. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh. And uh, Purdy found these on our way around as well, which I think we're going to have to eat. They do look very tasty. And what are these, darling? Blue -its. blue its Yeah, you can get two types. There's field blue its and wood blue its These were found in a field. Um, you can. They've got a very distinctive smell to them. Uh, purple on the gills. Yeah, that. Purple stalks. They're pretty. And brown on top. These are a French delicacy. Ah. When I was a kid, they were five pound a pound. Oh my god. So, yeah, I think we're going to have a... Mushroom omelette. Yeah. Mushroom omelette. If you don't hear from us again, you know it was the shrooms. Oh, by the way... You better be right no, about this. No... <laughs> <laughs> no cyclocybins around. It's got too late. Oh dear. Oh well, there's always next year. You don't need to peel the potatoes, or oh, just the mat, any bits that look mangy. Oh, that's Do them small. Hot pan sweetheart. Well, as usual, my be my eyes are bigger than my belly. Kaylin's eating a little bit. Her eyes are bigger than her belly. <laughs> so, anyway. The mushrooms are nice. If, yeah, I was just about to say, if the vlogs carry on from this, you know the mushrooms were okay. They're tasty. I'm not sure how long we're going to last, but <laughs> they were tasty. <laughs> Don't have to piss me off, this guy's. People come along, Chineses. McDonald's. Coming along and dumping the in the middle of the countryside. Don't have to rattle me. Oh. There's a funny yellow thing in the sky, love. It's like a round, a round circular thing with like, yeah, it's bright yellow. What do you think that is? Go on, monkey. Uh, you've got your feet on the wrong shoe. Go on. That's looking over towards us, motherly. Hey, monkey. Hiya, you all right? Uh oh. Don't worry, I've got him. Oh. You playing there a moment?
Come on then. Come on. Careful. No, they're not on the lead, sweetheart. They're having a run. In the tiny one, yeah. This tiny one here. So guys, this is uh, Square Corner. We've stopped up here for a, a few nights now. Um, after coming back from Stokesley. Um, Betty's in for a MOT. I'm going to take her in early. Strike, Joy! Come on! Here! And we're taking Betty in for an early MOT. She would have been in on the 12th of December. But we want to be on the road. So I'm going to take her down there on Tuesday. Um, we're going to get fueled up and watered up tomorrow. So hopefully, if she passes, we can be on the road and heading somewhere else. God knows where, still. So I think we're heading south. Go on then. Right, are we going to head into town? Uh, no. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yeah, because we need to go and get some things. Hmm? Eh? No, they're not. Come on then. This way. Let's not a no, that's a big puddle. What are we doing? Oh, it's a pretty view up here. It certainly is. We're, <coughs> we're heading back into town now though, because we've got the MOT due. So hopefully it'll fly through that and not need too much doing. I think the brakes need doing, don't they? Yeah, when I've been coming up and down these hills, the front okay. brakes have been getting pretty warm. Which, I don't know, it could be expected anyway, yeah. but yeah. it'd be nice to get them checked out before we go on our uh, jolly journey. <laughs> We're gonna get cold coffee cups now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. We're spending the night at B and M tonight, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we, we felt pretty safe last time we were there, so Yeah. Um We're just having the one night there. Yeah, close it's, to everything we it's need. close to everything we need in town, and like we said, MOT on Tuesday. So yeah, we need to get stocked up tomorrow and uh, on our travels again, don't we? Yeah. So yep. Yeah, hope you've liked things so far, guys. <laughs> it's been a bit mad. Yeah. But a lot, a lot of rain, a lot, a lot of cabin fever. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one I of the... I think it's, it's just like that in November all the time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and one or two people have asked me, you know, what do you do in a, in a van when it's chucking it down with rain or the weather's bad? I suppose we should do a video next time we have a rainy day in Sharon. Yeah, it's just the same as living in a house. Yeah. Just, the room's smaller. smaller yeah. Right, we'll uh, see you in the next bit. About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we